Whether you have a fall calving herd or a spring calving herd, one of the questions that you're faced with every year is how many heifers do I need to keep back as replacements? We have to have a starting place from which to work. And I thought a good place to look for this came from North Dakota State University a number of years ago. They looked at a 20 year average of the percentage of that cow herd that was in each one of the age groups. In other words, what percentage of them were two-year-olds, all the way up to what percentage of them were 13 years old over a 20-year period of time. And of course, in 20 years, you're gonna have some drought cycles, you're gonna have some changes in the market situation. So I thought that was a really good data set to look at to help us start with how many replacement heifers we wanna keep. If you look at this bar chart, this shows the actual percentage of the cows in each one of those age groups from two years old, clear up to 13 years of age. And if you look closely, the percentage of that herd over a 20 year average that was having their first calf as two year olds, it represented 17% of the herd. So let's put that in, in simpler numbers for our situation. If we have a 100 cow herd, then we expect to have 17 new two-year-olds calving and delivering a calf, weaning a calf each year on the average. So how many replacement heifers do we have to keep back in order to get those 17 two-year-olds to calve for us each year? I think that then depends upon what kind of a growing program we have for our replacement heifers. If we're going to push those heifers to where they're in real good body condition at the start of a breeding season, they weigh 60 to 65% of their mature weight, then we can get by with about 10% more heifers than what we plan to have calve. Because we'll have a few that just for whatever reasons just don't breed. And so if we're going to have that 100 cow herd, we're going to want 17 heifers calving on the average each year, then we're looking at saving back 19 to 20 heifers if we're going to grow them pretty rapidly before the breeding season. If we choose a slower growing program, one where these replacement heifers are only going to be about 55% of their mature weight at the time of the breeding season, and we know only half of those will be cycling at the start of the breeding season, then we better keep about half again as many heifers. So if we're going to grow them slowly and we still want 17 uh, heifers to calve the following spring or fall, whichever it may be, then we better keep somewhere around 30 heifers to turn with the bulls or put through our AI program so that we have enough heifers to match our needs. We hope this helps you and we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.